What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 22 of Autodesk Fusion. Uh, today we're working on something very particular, looking at planes and how you can manipulate your planes, looking at offset planes and mid planes. And I thought about doing that, something interesting with a cup of coffee. Now, I don't know about you, but um, when it comes to coffee, I drink it quite regularly. So I figured what would be better than manipulating and talking about good fusion skills um, than making a cup of coffee. Unfortunately, I don't have one in front of me, um, but here we go. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about when you start a new design or a new sketch, uh, these three planes pop up along with three different axes. So you got your X, Y, and Z axes, and then you got your um, your three planes, your X, Y plane, X, Z, and Z, X plane. Um, and so what we're going to do with these is I'm going to start building pieces based off of the center of each of those planes. And the reason you want to do this is because uh, when I do a little bit of plane manipulation here later on, it's nice to make sure my part is centered as much as it possibly can be. So I'm going to go ahead, and I know I'm not going to do this very much to scale, but let's go ahead and create the inside walls of my, uh, let's make that, uh, 80 looks okay. Let's go ahead and just make those inside walls of my coffee cup. Now I know this not, may not quite be to scale, but um, this is good talking about plane geometry. Because now what I'm going to do is I want to finish off this, uh, this bottom piece right here. And so I'm going to do is I'm going to click on New Sketch, and you notice my three planes still pop up. And I still want these three planes, I think if I zoom out you can see this a little bit better. I still want these three planes to be in the middle of my object. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Home, and uh, do a new sketch on the bottom. So let's go ahead and round this bottom out, and what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, project geometry. So I'm going to click on project, and I want to click on just uh, that outside rim. Click OK. And now here's where we start to get into using some um, of these construction uh, tools and commands. First thing I'm going to do is offset plane. Now I know I've used this a couple of different times um, in my other videos, but if you manage to keep your object in the center, um, it's pretty easy to use offset plane to get what you need to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and just offset the plane just a little bit, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a new sketch on the bottom of this, and seeing how every time I start a sketch, my object automatically shows up in the middle. So that way you don't have to go find it or, or making sure about dimensions. And let's just go ahead and um, finish this piece out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use loft, which we've done before, and I'm just gonna loft those two profiles together. Join, click OK, and now we got the bottom of my coffee cup. All right, now let's throw on my handle. Now, so we've done offset plane. Um, now what about tangent plane, and I really like this one, because this one allows me to put a plane tangent to any round face. So if I go above this, I can uh, put this plane anywhere tangentially to my cylinder so far. Uh, but since it's a coffee cup and we don't need it too far, I'm just going to keep it at zero, and then start a new sketch here. Seeing how my coffee cup is kind of near my zero point here, I'm going to create my handle. Now, uh, to make a good comfortable handle, it's actually more of an ellipse than it is a circle. So let's just make a nice thin ellipse, finish this sketch. Now, what I'm also going to do is um, make uh, my planes, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a, a sweep command. So if I want to sweep this, how do I do it quickly? So I'm going to click on New Sketch, um, and you see my planes still pop up, and I'm actually going to click on one of those. And this allows me to look through the center of my coffee cup. So I'm going to go ahead and click Slice. We see that my ellipse here, my profile, is in the middle. We're looking good. And so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a line that allows me to go wherever I need it to go. Um, I'm just going to put it in the middle there. That way, when I do this sweep profile, it goes into the coffee cup and it's not offset just a little bit. All right, uh, let's go ahead and finish that sketch. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep this profile along, click on path, this path. Now, it's going to automatically want to do a cut, but we won't do that. We want to do a join. 
Go and click there. Looking good so far. Now, I'm going to go back to um, my uh, create a sketch and let's fill this coffee cup with some actual coffee. So we're looking from the top. I click create new sketch uh, on the bottom and all it is is going to be a circle that is the size of the inside diameter there. And we're just going to go ahead and extrude this up. Looks all right. However, we, we want a fresh cup of coffee. We want to put some ripples in there. We put that little effect in there. How, how are we going to do that? So what I'm going to do is create a new sketch and I'm going back to my origin planes. Going back to the middle, go ahead and hit slice. And to make that ripple effect, all I'm going to do is go to my spline tool uh, and very quickly just roughly make what a ripple might look like. Just clicking a couple of replaces. Uh, go ahead and finish that out. Make a line. Goes from here all the way around. Go ahead and hit finish sketch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Revolve. I'm going to Revolve this. Oh, I got some things automatically picked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Profile. is going to be that profile and the axis. I'm going to go back to my three center planes here. And I'm actually going to rotate it around that center axis right there. We're going to do a join. Ooh, and I really like how this one turned out. This looks a whole lot better than my uh, my first one. All right. So we got our cup of coffee. We have our ripple effect. Now let's add our, um, our drop. So I'm going to go back to my three center planes, click on slice, and I'm just going to do uh, a circle that's above it uh, a little bit and do some line geometries. Now, I am going to use a little bit of a trick here that I found not too recently um, with trim. So I'm going to click on trim under my tools, and this allows me to get rid of whatever geometry I need to. And a purple highlight will show you what you're going to trim, but if you know roughly where you're at, you can actually hold down on the mouse, and it will erase everything for you that you drag over. So if I wanted to erase all this, for example, really quickly, I didn't have to do a bunch of clicks, I just deleted all of that geometry. So I'm gonna go in here, trim that out, trim that out, and uh, hit finish sketch. It might let me revolve this, it may not. Let's see, um, nope, because I have to throw a center axis through there. So I'm gonna go back to this sketch, and uh, there's a couple different ways that you could do uh, these, but I am just going to see if this will take me all the way home. Hit finish sketch. Now what I'm going to do is rotate this profile around this axis. Let's try that again around this axis. And it doesn't like it. Yep, I figured maybe it wouldn't like it. Um, so what I'm going to do is my tried and true method of revolve so let's go back in here, let's trim this half, and let's complete this geometry right here. Now I know that this geometry is complete because I went ahead and shaded in that as a, a light blue. Now let's try to revolve this. Revolve this around this center axis, and oh, try that again. I accidentally hit a keyboard key. I don't know what I hit, but it sure as heck didn't like it. And there we go. Now, um, I noticed that my edges here are a little sharp, so let's, let's go and use the fillet tool. And I'm going to go ahead and just round off some of these edges until it looks appropriate. Um, let's go ahead and round off the bottom here. Actually, let's do one at a time. Let's not try to do all of them at the same time. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to my inside circle here. Let's hit OK. Fill it, that inside circle. There we go. That looks good. Let's go to the bottom here. Let's click on just those two rings, not the whole bottom. 
There we go. And that looks about right. Cool, looking good so far. Maybe you wanna go ahead and just round off this edge as well, just so that we don't have a super sharp edge on our hands. If it'll let me, I don't think it's gonna let me because we run into problems with uh, trying to do too much at one time. All right, but let's go back to our appearance. So I'm gonna highlight everything and then click the A key. Now let's go to appearance. Let's go to white. Let's make our coffee cup white. And then I'm going to hold the shift key. And if you're trying to do too much with Inventor, it could be trying to uh, upload what you've gotten so far as a version. And so I've had a little bit of inconsistencies when it comes to uh, trying to figure out um, what to do on um, appearances. And sometimes it seems to be uh, I'm in the middle of my project saving. But what I have figured out, let's do, um, what I do is my color on that last one. I think I did bronze, that's what it was. So let's go back. Let's go click on this, click on this, hold down the control key, click the letter A, and let's go to bronze. And what I'm gonna do is drag it over just those pieces I've selected and highlighted. And ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We have our cup of coffee that has been freshly filled with some hot steaming cup of joe. All right, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, I know that is super helpful on my end, just letting know that people are watching my videos. Cool. Um, as far as that goes, all right, we made a cup of coffee using some construction lines, uh, dealing uh, with a couple of these plain geometries. Now, notice I didn't use all of them. Um, we can do some other things right here, just tinkering around and figure out what it looks like. As far as I'm concerned, when you continue to make your pieces from your origin point of zero, 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 uh, you tend not to need these as much. All right. Uh, but that's going to be it for today, folks. And I will see you on the next video.